this video, we'll be answering the question, what is deep learning? This entire playlist will be dedicated to covering many topics within the deep learning field, and it will take many videos to fully explain these subjects, their applications, and their technical implementation. Additionally, these videos are placed in a particular sequence within this deep learning playlist. Certain concepts covered will build on concepts that may have been previously discussed, so make sure to watch previous videos within the playlist if you're not already familiar with some of the terms or examples we're using here. In the last video, we answered the question, what is machine learning? And here are the notes from that video. In this video, we'll be sticking to solely covering the most basic idea about what deep learning is and how it's used. And then in later videos, we'll be diving into more detailed concepts, terms, and tools within the field of deep learning. So as covered in the last video, we define machine learning as the practice of using algorithms to analyze data, learn from that data, and then make a determination or prediction about new data. Now, deep learning, being the topic of this video, is a subfield of machine learning that uses algorithms inspired by the structure and function of the brain's neural networks. So essentially with deep learning, we're still talking about using algorithms that learn from data, as we discussed in the machine learning video. But now these algorithms or models are based on the structure and function of the brain's neural networks. So this learning will occur either in a supervised or unsupervised form. We'll have videos describing supervised and unsupervised learning in detail, but but supervised learning basically occurs when your deep learning model learns and makes inferences from data that has already been labeled. Unsupervised learning, however, occurs when the model learns and makes inferences from unlabeled data. So as a quick example, we can think about a deep learning model that has the purpose of identifying whether an image is an image of a cat or an image of a dog. So say we had 10,000 images of cats and dogs stored on disk, and we were to give these images to our model to learn from. If the model was learning in a supervised form, then each image would be labeled as either cat or dog. The model would then understand which image is labeled as what, and then would learn what likenesses and differences there are between the two categories of cat and dog. Now, if the model was learning in an unsupervised form, however, then the images would not be labeled as cat or dog. The model would essentially be learning the features of the different images and then classifying the images into categories based on their likeness or differences without ever knowing or seeing their labels. Again, we'll be discussing these two different learning techniques in future videos. This was just to give you a quick idea of supervised versus unsupervised learning. Now, we mentioned that the algorithms are based on the structure of the brain's neural networks. And as such, the models in deep learning are called artificial neural networks. So the terms model, net, neural net, and artificial neural network will all be used interchangeably within the deep learning field. So I hope now that you at least have a general understanding about what deep learning is. As mentioned, we'll be continuing to dive deeper into several topics within the deep learning field as this playlist progresses. In the next video, we'll be covering the topic of artificial neural networks that we just touched on above, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.